Hello. Well, today there is a uh, football game. There's a whole bunch of football games. It is Sunday after all. Football Sunday. Um, and uh, the game I'm going to see is Cowboys Rams. So, of course, that is not going to be aired easily on TV because the Cardinals also play at the same time. In Phoenix, Cardinals play, Cowboys play. They will show the Cardinals game every single time. So finding a place that is showing a game is uh, pivotal if you're a Cowboys fan. Um, so uh, group uh, did find a bar that will show it, play the volume, so we can hear the game and everything. So I'm going there. I have a Cowboys shirt on. Um, so I'm just going to, it's also a good time to try some makeup even though this is my skin right now. It's looking pretty nice. The shine, I have skincare, sunscreen. Uh, but still, you know, I like to even out sometimes, like this right here. Otherwise, I could go like this, maybe you know, put some lashes on, lipstick, stuff like that. But uh, I choose to make up my face because it's more practice. Um, also, subscribe. If you haven't been following on my journey, um, subscribe. See how I've been doing. Hopefully, I get better. Sometimes I feel like I'm progressing, but... Other times, I think I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Um, this week, I did try a different foundation. I will do another test of that and realized I need to do mattifying primers um, for my combination oily skin. This right now is moisturized, but it gets oily throughout the day. That foundation was awesome. But my skin got oily throughout the day and it was, it was annoying after blotting. So we are definitely using the mattifying Smashbox control that I do own. Um, so I don't know why I haven't been using it. I do like it. I just haven't been using it. Um, and it is moisturizing, so I don't know why I haven't been using it. So again, subscribe, follow along with my journey, and let's get this party started. My lips have been Vaseline, chapped, stick. Uh, primer as well, so that can sink in the time I get to that. If you notice my nails I may have missing, uh, they actually stayed on for like a week and a half before they finally started falling off because um, I was doing a lot with my hands. Uh, Trying to put shape wear on with nails is not very easy. That's when it finally popped off. Otherwise, it was doing awesome. I think before that, I did. So that is uh, I'm going to to help with the mattifying or lack of. I did not bring that out here. My puff. my eyebrows earlier either so you can watch me set my eyebrows I always after I do my eyebrows I set them so that they're not going anywhere so when I take a nap if I take a nap on my face my eyebrows I wake up they're fine mind you during the week I usually do minimal makeup at work and my eyebrows is one of them so that's why I come home take a nap it's okay I just gotta keep cleaning the Pillowcases, but you know, makeup, causes acne, things like that. I'm like, why well, she still? I'm just really concerned about the whole oily later because it's 90 today. It was 85 yesterday. It was nice. That night the other day, it was nice as well. So I'm kind of trying not to. It's gonna be warm. It's just traveling. Like I didn't even have my windows down yesterday, so. I didn't have the AC on at all, so that's why. Um, so today I'm using, I have a sample of Too Faced Born This Way. It's the oil-free uh, foundation of Spiced Rum. Can't see that, it doesn't matter anyway. Um, Target now has Ulta. 
at this particular altar or target I went to had altar, they give you samples. I'm like, I can't get that in a regular altar, but I got it in a target altar. I'm not gonna say which one because just in case you're not supposed to do that, but I don't know. But it's helpful for me because then normally I would get samples from Sephora. So I have nails, usually I would just, but I have a brush even though I'm using a sponge today. The only thing about samples is you don't know how much is a pump. So, see how that looks like that to match? Mind you, I have a darker neck, hyperpigmentation on my cheeks. So, A little warm, maybe, but we'll see. Okay, put a lid on that because uh, things spill. And they gave me a big sample. Uh, moist sponge, beauty blender, beauty sponge. I don't think that's a brand name. Don't forget to use down the neck. It's looking nice. Now, I've only sampled this in the store, and that's store lighting. You know how store lighting can be. So that's why I want to test it outside or in real life. Because you know the store lighting can definitely change and then settling because you can only walk around the beauty store for so long waiting for it to settle. I don't think they would mind, but I don't want to be in there like an hour because my skin usually takes about an hour to fully settle. I'm looking at it. Again, I only did, to me, that was equivalent in one pump. I don't necessarily need any more because it will settle. Now I'll see, and this looks good for it. that much I put on that y'all saw me put on. Ooh, try not to mess up my eyebrows. <laughs> try to make sure it's blended. Again, it doesn't look like it's fully, but once it settles, there's a whole other, like I can still see, because it's hot, I, I only kind of, whatever's left on the brush. I don't want to get too heavy with all that. It's warmer. Yeah, okay. So, I'll put more, more coverage. And it's oil free, Too Faced. It's kind of a Too Faced stick because I have uh, eyeshadow as well and uh, lipstick that I'm going to use. Normally, I don't do my eyeshadow on camera, but today I'm just going to go with it. But no, I like how it looks. Hopefully, down in the comments, tell me how you think as well. So with that, what am I gonna do next? Oh, let's do. Where is my? Okay, I was like, I hope I brought my concealer out here. Uh, hopefully, again, did I say oh, you can hear me? Cause the AC's on, and it's hot. And I'm like, this is my concealer that has a lot in it left. Double dip, I can't. Yeah, it's a little much right there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go right there, but a pimple that finally. Uh, disappeared, so I'm trying to stay away from that. 
since that, and then I'm going to do some bronzer and then blend out. And which brush am I using for bronzer? I'm just gonna do that one. Okay. So the bronzer is a uh, concealer, NYX HD 7.5. The bronzer is NARS, and then Laguna 4. So I have this, it's a contour brush, but we're going to use it today. Usually I use my fingers for a lot of my bronzer, and I'm like, I don't want to use my fingers that much. So I'm just going to go through. I usually use my, it's a bit much, but, uh, And the thing is, I know they have a brush that kind of curves. I don't need another brush, but I saw that that says maybe holiday sale. And I could do that, but I really don't want to, so I'm not going to. Let's see if I can do. Okay. Smaller brush. I don't know why I'm sitting there trying to do all that. You haven't even done my eyeshadow yet, so it's over there. That's definitely for a little clean up there. Blush is me powder today, so I can go ahead and spray. And then I'll use a blender, obviously. So I need a mirror there and there because I look. So that I'm right handed. So I'm not blocking anything. can't hear anything when I do the playback, I could do a voice voiceover, if need be. Blend out, you know what? Hmm. Blend out. a little bit before powdering. Sometimes it's just me trying to remember, not necessarily order. I know once you get it down, you can probably do whatever order. Um, but kind of, you know, learn the rules before you break it. I think that's what it is. It's me trying to learn the rules, remember the rules before I break it. Because I did watch a video last night or this morning, actually. Where somebody does everything opposite. There's like bronzer first, then concealer, then there's foundation on top. I guess that's underpainting or just under contouring, whatever, highlighting. And so I'm like, okay. I'm not quite there yet. But then you got to make sure foundation and thing is good. It's a little bronzing because it's going to say edge warmth. 
That's nice. I've never done it this way, really. And I'm seeing shine, like, again, I, I'm putting highlighter on your, or, you know, actual highlighter. Mostly skin right now. That and then powder. And the powder I've been using is Laura Mercier. Uh, actually, I keep forgetting. So I ran out of that. So I'm using Hourglass Transparent, which I've been using while I, until I get more Laura Mercier. But Hourglass has been working very well as well. Not really kind of baking, but kind of not baking. And I definitely need to blend that up. out a little bit more. I'm not putting it there because I'm used to putting it there when I... Because I don't have my... puff and I don't feel like getting up to get my puff. I'll let that sit a bit and then I'm going to do the blush next actually just do eyes and then I should have did the concealer then for that as well do my eyes but I did not again I'm kind of like, eh. it's not a big deal and that's usually why I have the other side this is why I always do have my eyes already done by the time I do these videos. Again, if I go there, I'm, uh, I'm learning to look in the camera. Because you start using my phone and I couldn't see anything because it's so small. But iPad, it's a little bit bigger. Sometimes this doesn't help. It does for the moment. Okay, so I'm using fruit cake. I got this earlier this year near the holidays. Colors. Not gonna do too, nothing too crazy because my lip, again, that's too face. My lip is going to be reddish. So let's find a brush. Do, do, do. Let's go. You know what? I'm going to. My transition color, I'm going to use the light pinkish kind of. And usually I do a tape. Oh, you know what? Do I have a card that I can use instead? My bad. I'm very. I'm sorry, I do not. And then we're going to use the light one. Turn it pack and then tell the wishy wash washing machine. Or we call them things. Inch wipers. Excess. It's taking me forever. Uh, like I said, do my eyes before tape. I like to use the tape to get that perfect line. So I want to do my eyeliner. If I do a wing, maybe I'll bring a card back. And as far as the light. I'm 
and then go a little darker. Uh, not that dark. Sometimes I just use the same brush instead of getting another one. I just change the sides. And I do have a different brush to blend today. Usually I don't. Dog. Right and I know I don't like cold brushes or my technique isn't really polished. I'm not there yet. Uh, but as long as it gets the job done. And I don't look too foolish. in a little bit more. And you can also clean up with uh, more concealer. Okay. That. Add a little shine. I'm going to use the pink. Did I use the pink? I also use the pink. Pink shine that's in there. I know they have names, but the way I can't figure out which is, excuse me, what exactly, so. Yes, I'm definitely using. So I'm looking for uh, wings, not wings, uh, eyelashes today. So I like to paint out my shine. I don't even know why I bother with this sometimes because I always end up using my finger anyway. Trying to get so it's higher. I think I use it for that to go higher because hoodedness. My hooded eyes. Add the shine there instead of the usual. I'm not cuss, I'm sorry. I feel like anti cussing. And then I'm going to go in with the dark one again. But then let's do the other one. Are ever the same? Eyebrows, sisters, not twins, eyelash, eyeshadow. I never do them duplicate. It's frustrating, but that's just how I've, I've noticed, and I'm like, okay. Yes, definitely. That's right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With that, I'm going to again go dark. Sharp, probably. You don't even see, but I can see it. brush and then that one I'm going to go back in that light color to blend tap I realize there's nothing a little corner right there Do eyes, it always takes longer. Like I can do my whole face probably 20 minutes. 
Heck, I've done it five minutes, but new and honest, definitely takes longer. Okay. Okay. And with that, what I'm going to do is push some of that off. I'm gonna blend some of that out so it's not as obvious. Again, one side. Mm. It's like, oh, it might be noticeable on the other side, not so much. There we go. Like that, push my blender again. Blend that out. Do the glitter on shadow because it's always underneath. And I'm like, do I have anything to clean that up with? Hmm. What's this? Because if you did all that powder, it should have uh, absorbed some of that. I'm going to. Right. So those, let's, I don't know, you know what, let me, so I can finish up the eyes, it's just a micro side, I'm going to use Steeler. over too many times and yeah I can still see I'm just doing simple but even a simple can do a lot and I'm going all the way to the corner because of my lashes see a little bit of difference. And that's when my hand just goes wonky. This is why my line ends up a different thickness. You know, unless you open my face, you might not notice as well. So, which you shouldn't be all up in my face. And then I'm going to do um, because sometimes I got whipped cream eyes, I can't tell if that's because of the mascara, waterproof eyeliner, waterproof. So I'm going to set on top of that uh, black. Eyeshadow, the Ulta small one brand, um, just for this purpose is what I got it for. I'm just packing it on there.
you know, just started doing this this week, so. Because I really am trying to figure out why, regardless of me using waterproof eyeliner and mascara, that I still get recognized. And people say, oh, if you set your under eye and powder, I'm like, it hasn't helped. I'm like, how much powder am I supposed to be using? And that's under my eye. It's just. And then I always forget to put eyeshadow under as well. And I didn't tight line. I see that now as I'm putting this on here. Think about doing this right now. I know when I did my lashes. It's gonna be interesting. Because I never usually get them on right away, like in the right spot. Okay, so I'm gonna put this over here so that I remember I still need to go under. Okay, so that's that. Now, after all that, we're going to, oh my god, you know what, because by now, let's do the side. I'm going to, there should be nothing left at this point, because it's sitting or somewhat baking all this time. So really nothing to even get rid of. And I spray to be in a blender. Again, didn't put nothing there, but I automatically do that because I'm used to. Just in case I want to Seal some more. Once again, I'm trying to, excuse me, figure out what it is to get to me not, not being oily. Um, okay, so blush is going to be Berry Spice, very well used, obviously, from Ulta. Um, this is like one of the first blushes I bought. I say one of, but it's the one I use, honestly, the most. Um, I did the summer anyway. I found another one that I really liked towards the end of the summer, but I definitely use this is still one of my favorites, and I'm just using the light as a pink, orange, bright pink, and I'm just using uh, pink and orange today. Just a little bit. That's just what I usually have been using lately. And sometimes I always say that, and then I throw in a little bit of that hot pink in there. And then we do a little up here. Let's do a little right here. And then I'm going to do a little bit of hot pink. Just a little. There we go. That's so why whenever I do that, I just feel like Bob Ross. Just a little tree right here, a little mountain, a little spring. And I feel that way when I do makeup. It's like I'm, I'm doing a painting. Because you pretty much are painting your face. Yeah, so I've noticed like now that falls is more here, I'm a little more subtle with my blush than I usually am. Or maybe because I had a birthday or recently. Um, I won't say maturity because I'm in my 40s already. Uh, but something about it, I just, I, I like to blend it along with my uh, bronzer a little more. And this is leftover bronzer that's probably on here already. But I'm trying to blend the brush a little. Blush. A little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. 
and I got my lips. I have stuff on my lips, but still, we are going to. So liner, and your lips. Right, should I spray now or wait? So I'm gonna do um, lashes last because they take me the longest. And I have no liner on. That's just how my lips are. And this is a uh, lip bar, straight living, pretty much brown. My favorite, as you see, it's gotten very short. I'm gonna have to get another one soon. I don't have other ones, but I have not been using them. Like I used, like I literally use this every day. Take it with me when I leave the house, even though I don't even reapply it. I do though. Take it with me just in case. I change up that lip game. Do something different today. By um, because I was gonna use I'm still using the Too Faced lipstick, but instead of you putting it on, because you see I put brown light on, just from the tube I'm going to use. I have this brush that I got when uh, I had the friend and also makeup artist uh, do my makeup earlier this summer um, along with the lessons she gave me some brushes I have not used it yet this particular brush I'm using this as a lip brush today and it's the BS dash mall brand um, so with that I'm using Lady Bold Too Faced and this one is Be True To You. And I love this color, it's kind of like a burnt sienna, is what I call it, those crayons. Who would think that uh, the names or the type would uh, come in handy as an adult? I'm like, oh, I know burnt sienna. And I honestly don't remember the other colors, I just know burnt sienna. So I'm just doing this, because again, this is my first time doing this. So, pull up this mirror. I don't know, like I said, I don't know how to do this. I'm just kind of figuring it out. I don't know if I'm supposed to put that on first and then blend out. Because, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a combination. I hate putting lipstick on on camera. I'm like, I'm fine with my teeth. Spacing and all that. But, you know, people talk about you on the internet, so. So yeah, if I do that, and then kind of use the brush to blend. Again, comments on if there's a better way to do this. Recommend a video of somebody who does it. I would appreciate it. Kind of make it meet the brown lip liner. It's very creamy, this one. I'm trying to figure out. And so I don't think I've worn it yet. Like, not kind of matte-ish.
you know, it's becoming maddish. But since I'm going to a bar, I'm going to actually make it maddish. Um, drinking kind of thing. Cap that. And again, if you haven't seen my video of me, go put it on crooked because Lady Bowls will be right there. I don't like that. It's not doing good. See, it has a magnet. Anyway, if you haven't seen that video, I, actually, I think that might be only on Instagram. I don't think I'll put that on my YouTube page. Um, so, with that, let me set this real quick. And I have a different brush I use to set. Because it's another B, a small one that I haven't figured out what to do with this. So I use it for this reason. Again, I'm sure, I know I've seen the tissue and then I say just go right on to it. So that even if you get a little, I just use this brush just for that. So I don't have to really worry about. What's that? I'm gonna put that right here. So a flush. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put. No, I'm not gonna do that yet. Okay, so this is pretty much, let me do my under eye for my eyeshadow. And then, I do eyelashes, like I said, usually my videos aren't as long. Because my eyes are always done beforehand. But I still have to do this part in my... I always do eyelashes last as well. I always forget to put some in the eye. What time is it? Okay, yeah, I gotta leave soon, so. I do my mascara after I spray my face. Since I don't have a wing, I don't necessarily have to worry about. Keep it sharp. I have a slight one over there, but it just happens. Okay, let me do that. I'm not sure there's a different brush I'm supposed to be using, which is what I'm using, but say lovey. Put those over here, and then let me spray my face. And I also did not do that as well. Okay, so let me set my face, then spray it. So, also lower my CA medium deep, makes a mess like every single video I've ever done. When I go to set my face. Usually if I put a lot of blush on this helps tie it all in to calm it down a bit. I 
as I hate getting it all on my neck using the Urban Decay. Hate getting it all on up my neck and my ears. Usually I have a different kind of shirt on. I'm sorry, I can put in the towel. Do that and then real quick. I know it's a little overkill. As what is this towel is is why. Pat like that because I know I have makeup on my ears. Also, okay. So with that, let us get the mascara on and all this stuff out of my way. And then you know what? I didn't do what I usually do. Let's see here. Another setting in. Or sealing the deal kind of thing. There's a few other things I usually do, but I have to get out of here. Let's see here. This is my Maybelline Sky High Waterproof. Because again, it's like I have allergies in the summer. So, waterproof is the way to go. You know, I say it's bad for you. I've tried the other ones. And then next thing I know, I have raccoon eyes. I don't know if it's because of the type of day it was. And usually I do that, I just realized. After, while I'm waiting for the glue to set. Ooh. Okay, today we're using My Lash for Better by Kiss. And I like these because they look kind of natural. Um, I do have other lashes that I've already trimmed them, honestly. Don't look very natural. Um, but, you know, I can be an extra for nice. So, do that. There's my glue. I got that right there. all just in the way. So next up, these are brand new. I trimmed them this morning. So they still got the stickiness from brand new coming out of the package kind of thing. While my I had other ones I just didn't feel like cleaning them. That I already had for a while that definitely were worn in. So I'm gonna go like that just because of that very reason. And then, glue. I have my glasses on, so sometimes me being able to see, like you can see the white that's from, and they're coming fresh out the packet. I don't remember that being like that in the last ones I had. So, hmm. Oh, that's not very good. So I like these because the, the band is very, it's less noticeable. So if that's something they're doing, that glue is, white glue is noticeable. Mm -hmm. I got this song kind of stuck in my head. It's a rap song. I don't know who it's by, but it's been on the radio. But it uses uh, Rick Ashley's Never Gonna Let You Go, who I just saw in concerts uh, a few months ago when he came to Phoenix. Um, he didn't mention that his song was being used in an up-to-date, you know, in a rap song. But whatever that song is, put it in the comments. Let me know. I could ask Siri later. Um... But that song has been stuck in my head lately. So I'm going to let these dry for a second. And then glue a little bit. Move this over here. And while I'm doing that, usually I put my earrings on last, but, last, but because I'm waiting for glue to dry, 
which again, normally I don't put the mascara on until the glue has been put on. So on the weekends, I like to wear the hoops. During the week for work, I'm a little less hoopy. I guess you could say so they can. No, I'm just a little less hoopy during the week. Attitude's still there, but I'm a little less hoopy. But so far, I mean, once I put the lashes on, and I can even go without the lashes looking right now because my eye shadow isn't too crazy. Uh, but because I committed to, I'm doing lashes, even though we get to where I'm going a little late. Uh, I'm gonna make it work. So, look at the mirror. Uh, and the lash glue was uh, Duo Quick Set. And the dry is clear. I do have another one I just got that's uh, latex free. And um, it has a little vitamin E or aloe in it, something like that. Um, I haven't tried it yet because I have plenty of this glue. This glue. These glues last forever. And I have, this is that one I just bought, this is my third one. So I was like, eh. And as you know, look down. Again, I can totally go without wearing these. And that's the wrong eye. <laughs> look. <laughs> Don't hear me talking is because this is always interesting. I always start out with the little handy dandy tools. And then, so I'm trying not to use that push, because otherwise, any dandy tool will stick to it. And then I'm pinching. I'll probably get this video edited this week. It depends on if I choose to just post it as is or it up to do a faster version. I think I like about it sometimes it looks like they're not on there because of that invisible lash uh, but with this glue once they're on there they will be on there for a good minute like they other than a haboob but I've not tested them in haboob but they will they are on there for the rest of the day and so I was pinching wasn't I I've been seeing lately that people have been, um, they put the lashes on, then the mascara. I haven't done that yet. Today probably would be a good day to try that out, but oh well. Again, I'm going to see that little bit of white from the band because it's so recent. And then let's do the other one before it dries too much. And it does help kind of that it takes a little longer sometimes. I never seem to cut them evenly, even though, because I have to, I have not wider eyes, I guess. So I have to trim them and then the inside, if I let them go too in too much, it's, it's annoying for my eyes. I touch my eyes a lot. Okay, like that one. I can still feel that glue. There we go. Come on. Okay. That one. There we go. And 
and if it glue is dried enough, it won't stick to your finger. Or the tool, it always sticks to the tool, but and it's definitely is dried enough. And I could just do that right now and then that come up off my eyelash. So I'm gonna pinch. And right there I could just feel nothing came off on my finger, but I know it's still working this magic. And then I always like to have them up. And like this is what's usually I go like that. And I'm trying to see if this side is actually on there. It is, okay. But usually I sometimes have to take the glue and go under a little bit to make sure they stay. Now I'm gonna Yeah, I could have totally gone with that lashes, but because since I committed to it, I already put the glue on there, it was just going to happen. So with that, um, yeah, I'm liking how this looks. So I'm going to say go Cowboys. Hopefully y'all win. Um, by the time, excuse me, this is published, I will know for sure. The game will be over. So... This is final look. And this is all sunscreen. Ooh, love a shiny neck. Sunscreen is probably a freaking setting spray. But, so this is how I'm going to the bar to enjoy this game. So, go Cowboys. Hopefully you win. Let's have a good season. Uh, the uh, quarterback we have right now is doing well. So, until Dak is back, hopefully that will continue. So, again. Have a good day. Have a good Sunday. Football Sunday. Go Cowboys. This is my final look.